Yes, Senator, I am. He said, <clears throat> so we connect more people, maybe someone dies in a terrorist attack, coordinated on our uh, tools. The ugly truth is that we believe in connecting people so deeply that anything that allows us to connect more people more often is de facto good. Do you agree with that? No, Senator, I do not. And as context, Boz wrote that, Boz is what we call him internally. Um, he wrote that as an internal note. Um, we have a lot of discussion internally. I disagreed with it at the time that he wrote it. If you looked at the comments on the internal discussion, the Would vast majority of people internally did too. That you did a poor job as a CEO communicating your displeasure with such thoughts. Because if he had understood where you, where you were at, he would never have said it to begin with. Well, Senator, we try to run our company in a way where people can express different opinions internally. Well, this is an opinion that really disturbs me. <laughs> and if somebody worked for me that said this, I'd fire him. Uh, who's your biggest competitor? Uh, Senator, we have a lot of competitors. Well, who's your biggest? Mm, I think the categories of, do you want just one? I, I'm not sure I can give one, but can I give a, a, a bunch? Mm -hmm. So there are three categories that I would focus on. One are the other tech platforms, so Google, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft. We overlap with them in different ways. Do they, do, do they provide the same service you provide? Um, in different ways, different let parts me, let me of it, put yes. This way. If I buy a Ford and it doesn't work well and I don't like it, I can buy a Chevy. If I'm upset with Facebook, what's the equivalent product that I can go sign up for? Uh, well, there's the second category that I was going to talk about. Are I'm not specific. talking about categories. I'm talking about is there real competition you face? Because car companies face a lot of competition. If they make a defective car, it gets out in the world. People stop buying that car. They buy another one. Is it an alternative to Facebook in the private sector? Uh, yes, Senator. The average American uses eight different apps okay. to communicate with their friends and stay in touch with people, okay. ranging from texting Which is apps the, to email. Is the same to service you provide. Well, we is, provide a number of different services. Is Twitter the same as what you do? It overlaps with a portion of what we do. You don't think you have a monopoly? Uh, it certainly doesn't feel like that to me. Okay. <laughs> so it doesn't. So Instagram, you bought Instagram. Why did you buy Instagram? Uh, because they were very talented app developers who are making good use of our platform and understood our values. It was a good business decision. My point is that one way to regulate a company is through competition, through government regulation. Here's the question that all of us got to answer. What do we tell our constituents, given what's happened here, why we should let you self-regulate? What would you tell people in South Carolina that given all the things we've just discovered here, it's a good idea for us to rely upon you to regulate your own business practices? Well, Senator, my position is not that there should be no regulation. Okay. I think the internet is increasingly important. you embrace important. regulation? I, I think the real question, as the internet becomes more important in people's lives, is what is the right regulation, not whether there should but, be but or not. you as a company welcome regulation? I think if it's the right regulation, then yes. You think the Europeans have it right? Uh, I think that they get things right. Have you ever submitted? <laughs> That's true. Uh, so would you work with us in terms of what regulations you think are necessary in your industry? Absolutely. Okay. Would you submit to us some proposed regulations? Yes, and I'll have my team follow up with you so that way we can have this discussion across the different categories where I think that this discussion needs to happen. Look forward to it. When you sign up for Facebook, you sign up uh, for terms of service. Are you familiar with that? Yes. Okay. It says, the terms govern your use of Facebook and the products, features, apps, services, technology, software we offer, Facebook's products or products, except where we expressly state that separate terms and not these apply. I'm a lawyer. I have no idea what that means. But when you look at terms of service, this is what you get. Do you think the average consumer understands what they're signing up for? 
I don't think that the average person likely reads that whole document. Yeah. But I think that there are different ways that we can communicate that and have a responsibility to do so. Do you, do you agree with me that you better come up with different ways because this ain't working? Uh, well, Senator, I think in certain areas that is true. And I think in other areas, like the core part of what we do. But if you, if you think about just at the most basic level, people come to Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, about 100 billion times a day to share a piece of content or a message with a specific set of people. And I think that that basic functionality, people understand because we have the controls in line every time. And given the volume of, of, of the activity and the value that people tell us that they're getting from that, um, I think that that control in line does seem to be working fairly well. Now, we can always do better. And there are other the services are complex and there are is more to it than just, uh, you know, you go and you post a photo. Um, so I, I, I agree that, that in many places we could do better. But I think for the core of the service, it actually is um, quite clear. Thank you, Senator Graham. Senator Klobuchar. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Zuckerberg, I think we all agree that what happened here was bad. You acknowledged it was a breach of trust and the way I Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg spent hours on Capitol Hill today taking questions from senators about Facebook's role in the 2016 election and in American society more generally. We'll talk to one of the senators who was there and spoke to Zuckerberg and more broadly what it meant. But first, Brett Larson, an anchor at Fox News Headlines 24-7 who covers tech for our show, has the big moments from today. Brett? It was quite the day, Tucker. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg checked in with Congress today for day one of hearings. And we learned a little bit about the inner workings of the social media giant. One thing we heard repeatedly was exactly what Facebook is and is not. What you think of is the Facebook service, right? That's everyone has control every single time that they go to share that. They could delete that data anytime they want full control the majority of the data yeah but sharing everything not so much mr zuckerberg would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night um <laughs> uh no i think that may be what this is all about your right to privacy the limits of your right to privacy and how much you give away yeah, but with 2.2 billion users and in the wake of concerns about more than 80 million users having their data stolen by political consulting firm Cambridge Analytica, is Facebook your only choice? If I buy a Ford and it doesn't work well and I don't like it, I can buy a Chevy. If I'm upset with Facebook, what's the equivalent product that I can go sign up for? Uh, well, there's the second category that I was going to talk about. Are I'm not specific. talking about categories. I'm talking about is there real competition you face? You don't think do. you have a monopoly? Uh, it certainly doesn't feel like that to me. Okay. Well, there is also concerns, Tucker, about First Amendment rights and just what control the social media giant has over what you see, say, and share. You say that you have 15 to 20,000 people working on security and content review. Do you know the political orientation of those 15 to 20,000 people engaged in content review? Uh, no, Senator. We do not generally ask people about their political orientation when they're joining the company. Uh, Senator Ben Sass asked a similar question about censorship on the site, and CEO Mark Zuckerberg said the speech they censor is any time someone pushes to hurt others. Senator Sass was also concerned about addiction to the social media site. As a dad, uh, do you worry about social media addiction as a problem for America's teens? Well, my hope is, is that we can be idealistic but have a broad view of our responsibility. And, Tucker, we will get more from Zuckerberg tomorrow when he sits down for day two. He has certainly been very frank in his responses and a little obtuse about specifics, which made the lack of understanding of exactly how Facebook works and our understanding of it very clear. Thanks for that, Brett. Appreciate it. Thanks.